Hey, um, I had to make this little video about like, this shit is on my mind heavy, man. I don't give a fuck what nobody think about me or what. I need to talk about this shit. Because this made me think of something, man. That uh, Meek Mill situation that's going on, right? <laughs> it just made me uh, think of something. Like, because, you know, I don't really like speaking on celebrities or something. If you watch my channel, you know I don't even, even I won't even title this with his name in it. I don't need that attention, you feel me? But like, this is something that if, you, if you're watching this, this is just a lesson to teach something that I, you know, I probably just learned myself, paid attention to, and maybe, you know what I mean, to help you. Everybody is clowning Meek Mill right now, right? Everybody talking shit, everybody saying he's, uh, you know, G-A-Y, all of these rumors and shit, him and, you know, who, and uh, I don't even like talking people name or nothing, man, it's crazy. But you know what the fuck going on. Oh, uh, man, at the end of the day, it's all about our legacy, man. Whatever that may be, you know what I'm saying? To your family, to, I mean, that's the most important thing, obviously, the legacy you leave into your family as, as, a, as a father, as, you know what I'm saying, a husband or whatever, a son, whatever, right? But then outside of that, you got the whole world, you know what I mean? Like, what, what, what legacy are you leaving behind in the world, though? Yeah, you gonna leave you you for show you there's you don't even gotta do nothing to have a legacy within your family. You are you. You know what I'm saying? You a dad, you you will always be a dad, whether you're here or not, you're gonna be dad to your kids, right? That's a legacy. You leaving your kids be, you know what I'm saying? All that. But I, when I think of legacy, I think of like when you dead and gone, is your is your how are people perceiving you when you dead and gone type shit. Right? Like Tupac, right? For example, man, that dude, that man been dead over 30 years or whatever, right? And his legacy still standing strong, though. Now, this is the highest of the highest type of shit. I'm talking about Tupac, worldwide, everybody. But on a lower scale, like, you feel me? You got to think of your legacy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Tupac did some frowned upon shit and maybe even some weird shit in the industry. I don't know. That ain't my call. I don't know this type of shit, right? But what his legacy, though, I'm not saying he did nothing, but I'm saying his legacy is strong. Boy, his legacy is respected when you bring up his name anywhere worldwide. You know what I'm saying? That's some big shit. And that's because of what he did while he was alive. You know what I mean? And the music. The music, really. You know what I'm saying? And it's like with the, with the Meek Mill situation... I mean, now, if you're guilty of the accusations that somebody put on you, I can see if you're not really speaking on it. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't really want to further, you don't want to pour gasoline on the fire by speaking on it and maybe possibly, man, this dude speed behind me, possibly getting exposed for further shit or whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to say nobody did nothing, but I'm saying you don't want to speak on nothing and be, you know what I'm saying, you know, get exposed. Stupid ass bitch, why you speed behind me? But, uh, you just gotta, uh, that fucked me up. Like, that shit had made me hella mad. Uh, your legacy, man. If you, if, if the accusations is not true, and again, I'm not in the industry, I don't know what he's up against, I don't know what the fuck. But if the accusations is not true, man, you got to stand on your legacy. In my mind, like, I would go on a rampage, man, <laughs> making songs, talking about shit. You feel me? I, man, it's, it's time to, I'm not saying crash out. Because obviously, bro, dude is up. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to fuck the money off the show. You think about your family down the line, generations. You, you create generational wealth. You don't want to fuck that off. But it, 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 you got to think about your legacy at some point, too. Like, excuse me. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of people is sheep in the world, man. If, if, if they see one person teasing somebody about something that's a celebrity, now they're going to want to tease them about something. Then it's just a domino effect. Everybody's starting to tease them about something, right? You know, it's the, it's the stronger-minded people who maybe will sit back a little bit and watch and kind of analyze shit. But, like, the average motherfucker, they jumping in on the shit, man. The bandwagon, right? If everybody liking him, everybody like him. If everybody don't like him, then we all don't like him, I guess, right? Like, that's how the average person is. So that right there can fuck around and control your legacy, man. Right there. Because if you think about it, down the line, if, you know, the popular word, that gets lived on right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, who knows how long we're going to live, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and at any given moment, like, you feel me? And then you, this is your legacy right here. People will not remember what you really did. You know what I'm saying? Like, for his example, me, you know what I'm saying? Dope-ass rapper. I'm a fan of his rap music. You feel me? I don't know him personally or what he did personally, so I'm not, I don't know him to be judging, but I'm a fan of his music. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, that will get forgotten, forgotten if, if you don't, because one thing they can't take away from you is the music. You see what I'm saying? You can address rumors and shit on YouTube, Instagram, whatever the fuck. But what if one day YouTube and Instagram is not here no more? Those videos is gone. You see what I'm saying? There's no proof of what you do. So the music is going to live on, period. You see how Pac did all them songs. He, they, the songs lived on for uh, decades and shit, right? So, I, I mean, I, I would fuck around and start addressing shit in the music, man. I mean, that's just me. I don't know. Thinking from my brain, um, I would be feeling like I got to protect my legacy. Damn, it was a badass wreck right there. That's crazy. I hope motherfuckers is okay. Shit look crazy. But uh, I would be feeling like I got to protect my legacy, man. Because down the line, all you don't... I mean, I wouldn't want people to just remember this part. You know what I'm saying? I... It seemed like you gotta reverse this shit by maybe, I'm not saying crash out, but it's like, man, it's, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know how they say you gotta stand for something or fall for anything, like you gotta stand up for something. It seems like your legacy is something to stand up for. You know what I'm saying? I, it seemed like that. I don't know how I feel to be in that position, but it's like, I'm thinking of like, say in my hometown, right? Uh, you know, somebody's trying to fuck your name off, right? Creating rumors, saying you did this, did that. And in my hometown, man, you know what I'm saying? People know me. So it's like, I would feel to be riding around and, and out here in my hometown still, and it's like, these, these rumors is active, open, and they don't know if it's true or not because I haven't said nothing about it, right? <sighs> that hurt, man. And everybody flipping on you because they believe in the rumors, man. That hurt. I feel hurt for bro, bro, uh, me. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know them, nothing like that. It's just outside looking in, man. I'm, you know. But it seems like, uh, <clears throat> it seems like, you know what I'm saying? You got to address this shit type shit. Now, this is just coming from me, man. I. It may be repercussions addressing this shit. You know, he might be trying to protect himself and his family. Who the fuck knows? But, uh, at the end of the day, man, all I'm saying is, yo, the lesson that I'm seeing here is motherfuckers will use your legacy against you because they know that that's something that's really important. So they will try to, if they trying to destroy you, right, for whatever reason, you know what I'm saying? Because I do feel like somebody's trying to destroy him. You know what I'm saying? So for whatever reason, if they trying to destroy you, it's a war now. Because they trying to destroy your legacy. When you dead and gone, all the money is not yours no more. You know what I'm saying? The money, the resources, that's not yours no more. It may be your families, your kids, 
but like literally if you think selfishly a little bit it's not yours so you know what i mean what do you have left just your legacy you're not here no more type shit you just have your legacy that's it <sighs> you know like pot that's all he got like you know what i mean it's just the, the legacy the music so it's like It, it, it devalues you you know what I mean if you if you don't uh, do that if you don't protect it it's going it, it devalues you and, and, and motherfuckers going to see you a certain way that's like it ain't him it ain't him it ain't going to be like it ain't going to be like the thought the kind of it ain't gonna be like you want it to be. That legacy that you created, you put all that work in for. It's not gonna be like you want it to be. And that's fucked up. Because a lot of, you know, you you probably, like you, you a stand up dude, you didn't do nothing wrong. You kept it real and you helped a lot of people type shit. Cause the same motherfuckers talking shit about, you know, about the same people that have talked shit about you, you probably helped them before in some way. You know what I'm saying? You, even through the music, maybe you got them through some hard times, something, you know what I'm saying? And when that come out, certain little rumors, people will flip on you, man. People will fucking flip on you, especially if you're not addressing the rumors. So... I don't know, like, I, this, this, this is something, I, this is my message in this video. This is something I learned from, uh, it's one of the 48 laws of power. I read, I read that book, um, most of it. I listen to the audio though a lot. Uh, you gotta protect your reputation at all costs. You feel me? Because that's all you got at the end of the day, man. You know what I'm saying? Your kids is going to believe what the reputation is, the legacy is at the end of the day. Yeah, they know you, but they going to they going to believe what the majority of people saying about you though. And it's fucked up. But they will believe that. And it's like really a motherfucker could be like I don't give a fuck, but like man, we give a fuck, man. We give a fuck. Cuz most of my people in the past probably died broke. You know what I mean? Or with a little money. You know what I mean? But I don't know. All I know is what's left behind. The stories. Who he was or who she was. What happened. All of that. That's all I know. I don't got no money from my past family members. But all I know is a story or who they was. Now if the story is fucked up, that's what I'm going to think of them. And, you know, that's a lot to me. I don't know. What about you think, man? Let me know in the comments. You know, am I talking some real shit or is it just like I need to just kind of not worry about that type of shit? I don't know. Let's talk about it.